Hi, welcome to Abby's Book Reviews. This is, it's the November book haul. Um, there are six books this month, so I don't think I've done too badly. Um, I've just been trying to not buy books because Christmas was coming up, so I made a wish list and also need to buy pe other people's presents. <laughs> so yeah, Forest of a Thousand Lanterns by Judy Dow. And this is the first, I'm not sure if it's a series or a trilogy or duology or anything, but it's the first one in one of those. Um, don't know that much about it. I don't know if it's like Chinese or Japanese um, influence, but it's like Far East influence. Um, it is a fantasy as well. I don't really know much about it, but it was the Fairy Loot book of the month for October. The second book that we got in Fairy Loot last month which was Language of Thorns by Leigh Bardogo and it has the red foiling rather than the gold which comes on the normal one and it's so cool. So this is six short stories from the Grishaverse. Um, that's all I really know about it and it's all illustrated. It's really cool um, and the further through the story you go the more edging there is which is quite cool for each story and then at the end of each story there is also a full size illustration as well which is pretty awesome mistress of all evil by serena valentino oh my gosh okay so i just had to get it um because i have the other three in the series this is number four but i'm a bit annoyed because it's come out in like a normal paperback size and it's quite thick whereas my others were like more square Thin. so I'm a bit annoyed about that but you know um what can you do and this one is weird because I suppose Maleficent does turn into the dragon but it's not the normal face and face like in the mask yeah um really looking forward to this I need to read the rest of the series first Beast Made of Night by Tochi Onyabuchi I think that's my grounds I'm really sorry if it's wrong um but I love the foiling on the front it is so pretty and it like carries on around the side and there's a little bit on the back and the actual book is purple like silver detailing so it's kind of a reverse there's also like animals on the blurb bit i did know about it when i pre-ordered it and i have forgotten in the months since then um but it just it sounded so cool originally and I was like I have to have it. It's also got several awesome authors that have like done like recommended on the back um and stuff so yeah I, if they love it I'm sure I will. <laughs> okay then on to my two special editions for this month. The 10th anniversary of City of Bones by Cassandra Clare and it is just absolutely stunning like that's just the cover and then you go inside and there's end page illustrations there's like character illustrations before you actually start then there's a map of new york and also like illustrations of the places and also like on the map it tells you where they are the number and tell you where they are which i think is pretty awesome each chapter has a little illustration which is cute and then right at the end there's the play files about different characters and what the play has information about them on which is so cool <laughs> a darker shade of magic collector's edition by the schwab um I had to get the American cover of this because I have the UK cover normally because like, I want the American cover for the collectors but I wanted to get those anyway so you know, like, I don't know what to do, do I get the new collectors? And then there's the B&N edition that I can't get over here and I'm so annoyed which is this but silver and I think there's like an extra short story or something in that one. Take the dust jacket off, ta it's so pretty love that it's got that on there and then inside it has characters on the end pages which is awesome and she signed it oh my gosh 
gosh, I've already just seen that. Oh. Oh. Okay, love all the rest. Oh, and there's a little like ribbon bookmark inside, which is awesome. That is my haul for November. Let me know if there's any books you'd recommend. My list for books that I want to pre order for next year is over 100 already. Um, I think I'm like it's over two books a week that I would be buying. And that's just at the moment and several times there's like six books coming out on one day so there's definitely some weeks I won't be getting any but some weeks I will be getting a lot if I stick at it which I kind of want to do because I really want to read all of them but at the same time it's gonna be quite expensive so we shall see <laughs> enjoy the book you're reading and I will see you soon